Hi everybody. I know it's been forever since I've done one of these videos for you guys um, and I thought that it was time that I went ahead and I did another review. I know I've been promising it for forever. And honestly, this isn't a review. This is my Sammy dress rant because I told you guys that I had another review coming. There were some other items that were, um, they're sort of popular on the website and the items that I wanted to review for you guys. Um, but I've just been so busy and things have been so hectic and so chaotic. Um, in fact, my husband and I are expecting a little baby. So we've been super busy with pregnancy and work and our first son and all this other stuff. So anyway, not to make excuses, um, but I did place a fairly large order to Sammy Dress um, to do another review for you guys. And I've just been so angry. <laughs> I've just been so angry that um, I thought I would do a quick little rant video first to just kind of give you guys an idea of what this website is like, okay? I gotta get my notes because I got a lot of notes and I don't wanna forget anything, okay? First of all, I know you guys have probably seen on YouTube a lot of people say that they've been contacted by Sammy Dress to do reviews for them and they were given like a dollar amount or whatever to do reviews. I've never been contacted by them for that, but once you become, so like my first video, my first couple of videos were just my money out of my pocket to do, to get some clothes for myself. And I figured I would share my experience with you guys so you would know kind of what to expect if you decide to go on the website. My first shopping experience with them was fine. I placed an order and about three weeks later I got it and everything was what I had ordered. Um, sort of. You can see my other videos. I'll place the link below um, if you're interested in, in checking those out. But um, okay, so on their website, they <laughs> after you get your order, they encourage you to wear your clothes and take a photo and then um, do a review. Post it on their website and say, this is the item that I got and blah, 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 which I did for every item that I purchased in my last order. And only, I'd say like half of them were chosen to be put on their website. Is that sketchy or what? A little bit, yeah. So what they do is um, you place an order and by now, if you don't know, what they do is they steal photos from other websites and they put them on theirs. And then when you place an order, they send it to somebody who takes some fabric and they sew a copy <laughs> of that item as close as they can and then they send it to you which honestly, I think that's the reason why it takes so long for the items to get to you, but who am I? Um, so it's not the same item that you see on the website. So I may order a dress and you may order the same dress or pants or whatever, and it's not gonna be exactly the same. They're not gonna be the same item because it's just, it's not the same. Okay, so anyway. They pick and they choose which reviews go on their website, and so obviously they're not going to pick the terrible ones, right? They want you to, they want to be seen in the best possible light possible, right? Okay, anyway, if they choose your photo, you get points, and then your points can be used towards purchases later on, okay? Um, if you take a photo, like you try it on and you take a picture in your mirror, and they use it, you get a small amount of points. If you actually wear the item out, like with your girlfriends for the night, you take a photo and you're like, oh, look at me having so much fun in my Sammy dress clothes and they really, really like it. They'll use it as like a marketing photo at the bottom of like their web pages. They're like, oh, recommended items or something like see how other users wore these items, something. I don't remember. And you get lots and lots of points for that. Um, anyway, so so sketchy. Anyway, then the next thing is after I had done those reviews, I had been contacted by like customer service or something. They emailed me and they said, we really want you to do a review for us on these like review websites, like reviews.com, I think was one and site jabber. And there was one other, there were three websites and they basically tell you what to say. We want you to present us in the best possible light, the best possible light, the best possible light. So, you go onto these websites and you have to register. 
you type up a review for Sammy Dress, and once once the review is typed up, you contact Sammy Dress again, and you say, hey, I did the review, here are the links to my review, and then they look them over, and if they approve, approve of what you said about their website, they send you more points. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of points. So many points. Oh my goodness, what do I do with them all? I don't know, what am I gonna do? So, anyway, I did this for them because I legitimately had um, a decent experience with them with my first order. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll do it. And I was as honest as I could be. I said, the clothing is not exactly what's on the website. This is what they do. They take photos from other, you can do a Google image search and find where the, um, the original of the item of clothing came from. So like, let's say you see a dress on there and it's like $17 and it's a ball gown and you're like, beautiful, I wanna wear this for my senior prom or homecoming or my mom's getting married and we're gonna buy these for bridesmaids dresses, I don't know. Um, for $17, it's not worth the risk. Do a Google image search and it'll show you the original website where it came from and where it's probably gonna cost you $200 a dress. But you'll get what you you'll get what's in the image, right? So, anyway, now let's get to my current order. So I decided to place an order for you guys so that I could do a review, another one because I've been promising this to you guys for forever. So um, I placed this order, and first of all, my fault. I had put three items in my bag, and then checked out on accident and I forgot to put the rest of the stuff in so I was like fine whatever I'll pay for shipping twice whatever no big deal there's one item with a couple of little things in it and then I did a second order okay so my first order arrives no problem my second order comes and three items are missing where are they guys where's my stuff so I contact them and they said oh they were out of stock um, so once we have them together, we'll send you an email and get them to you. And it took me three weeks to get my packages after I had ordered them, which is what happened the first time and which is what everybody has been telling me. Um, I live, I actually live in Canada and Ontario, but I have a PO box in the States. So I have everything sent to the States because it's just cheaper for shipping for some reason. So I send it there. Um, and either way, it takes about three weeks to get it. So I contact them after I wait like another two months. They say, your second order is in the mail and you'll get it soon. And I wait about two months and I contact them again and I say, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? And then they tell me, well, you didn't purchase a tracking number so we don't know where your stuff is. No, no, no. The tracking number is $1.99. $1.99. I purchased the tracking number because this crap is coming from an unreliable website out in China and I've read the reviews. I know how many people have been having issues with you guys. So yeah, I purchased the tracking number, but because they split it into two different shipments, I got a tracking number for the first shipment, just not for the second one. It makes sense, right? So I, as politely as I possibly can, explain this to them. No, I purchased my tracking number. I purchased one. I got a tracking number for my first package. Look, I've got like veins bulging from my neck. I'm so angry. Um, okay, yeah, the email I wrote to them was pretty rude. So I get a response back the next day, which I have to admit, they their customer service was pretty good in this. I can only say that because I got my way. Like, they they write me back and they say, well, we checked your file and we see that you're a loyal customer, so we'll go ahead and we'll resend these items to you at no charge, and here's your tracking number. Thank you. Three weeks later, I get, you can see why it took me so long to get this stuff together to do a review for you guys, right? Like, I want to pull my hair out of my head. Um, anyway, so... About three weeks after that email, I get my package in the mail and the stuff is here and it's fine and I finally have everything that I had ordered. Oh, one last thing, one last thing. I told you about all these points I have built up in my account, right? All these 
points. When you go to check out, it says, how many points do you wish to apply to the purchase? And I'm just like, all of them, apply all my points. It doesn't work that way. They only allowed me to use like a fraction of my points to take off a percentage of my dollar amount because I thought, well, I got all these points. I might as well get some free crap and do a review. No, no, I still had to pay, still had to pay. I think I ended up paying about $40 for everything that I got. It's a lot of stuff. I've got two dresses, three tops, one, two, three, four, five necklaces. So it's a lot of stuff for like 40 bucks. But still, I would rather have taken that $40, gone to whatever department store nearby and gotten something decent that I knew was going to be decent because I can stand there and hold it and touch it and feel it and try it on in the store. <sighs> Needless to say, I'm not shopping with them again. Anyway, that was my man. And if you guys want, I'm going to show a couple of little snippets right here of the items that I purchased um, so you can get an idea of what to expect for my next video because I know that this one is already pretty long. Sorry about that, guys. I had a lot to say. Um, so take a look at the items that are going to be in my next video. And if you'd like to see the reviews on those, stay tuned because that video will be up soon. Thanks. See you later, guys.